In this video, we can discuss about pharmacology of histamines. Histamine is a basic amine formed from histidine, which is an amino acid, by an enzyme histidine decarboxylase. So, these histamines are autocoids. We had mentioned about autocoids in uh, another chapter that is non steroidal anti inflammatory. There are different types of autocoids. Autocoids are hormone like substances which are synthesized, stored, and released at a specific site when is there any inflammatory response or necessary changes occur in the body. So, amine, uh, histamine is an amine type of an autocoid which is synthesized and stored and released from granules of mast cells which are abundant in skin, GI tract, respiratory tract, lungs, liver and placenta. And it is also present in non-mast histamines, uh, present as non-mast histamines which occur in brain, epidermis, gastric mucosa and growing region. And histamine is also present in basophils in bloods. Also, they are present in the neurons in CNS as well as peripherally nervous system. Now, coming to the mechanism of action of histamine. So, whenever is there any inflammatory response occur, there will be a, a release of histamine from this a site of a synthesis like mast cells or non-mast histamine cells like brain epidermis or basophils in the in blades. This histamine will bind with the histamine receptors like H1 receptor, H2 receptor and H3 receptors which are present at the different sites in the respective area and thereby they will produce some mechanism by producing th some transducer mechanism like in H1 it will increase the calcium ion and uh, this calcium ion will leads to uh, the respective action in the respective site like uh, in smooth muscle it will produce contraction and it will increases the capillary permeability in the blood vessels and also it will produce vasodilation in the blood vessels as well as uh, itching and pain in case of uh, ner sensory nerve ending in case of H1 receptor. Histamine when bind with the H2 receptor, it will increases the cyclic KMP and they will give their uh, responses or effects in respective site like it will increases the gas, gastric acid secretion from the parietal cell of gastrointestinal tract and also it will produce vasodilation in blood vessels and also it will increase the capillary permeability. And in H3 receptor, when histamine combined with the H3 receptor, it will decrease the cyclic KMP and it will produce decreasing histamine release and it will decrease the vaso histamine release secretion as well as it will produce vasodilation. So, this is the mechanism of action. Histamine will bind with the H1, H2 and H3 receptor present in the different site of the body and they will produce the uh, different action. Now we can discuss the different uh, receptors of histamines and its distribution and function. First receptor is H1 receptor. They are located in the postsynaptic membrane and these are a GQ type of protein coupled receptor and these are present in the smooth muscles like intestine, respiratory tract as well as uterus. Uh, upon a release of histamine when there is an inflammatory response occur. So, it will produce a smooth muscle contraction and this is very very important in case of respiratory system. So, if there is any hypersensitivity reaction in re respiratory system, it may produce, uh, it may release the his histamine and it will produce a respiratory contraction or bronchoconstriction in the respiratory system. And in endothelial system or in blood vessels, it will produce vasodilation and H1 receptor is also present in the sensory nerve endings. There it will produce pain and itching and in afferent nerve ending, it will produce stimulation of the afferent nerve ending and in H1 receptor in CNS, it will produce a different allergic rhinitis as well as motion sickness. So, these are the uh, sites 
and its functions of H1 receptor. Now coming to the second receptor that is histamine 2 receptor which is located in the postsynaptic membrane and this is an GS protein coupled receptor and they are present in the gastric parietal cells. So uh, by activation of this gastric parietal cell H2 receptor will increase the gastric acid secretion and uh, in blood vessel it will produce vasodilation and in heart it will increase the force of contraction as well as it will increase the heart rate and also H2 receptor will inhibit IgE dependent degranulation. Now third receptor is H3 receptor this is an GI and uh, G0 uh, protein coupled receptor these are present in the brain synaptic here they will produce an uh, negative sorry feedback inhibition of histamine synthesis and release so it may produce sedation and it will decrease histamine norepinephrine acetylcholine release they also control the release of dopamine GABA acetylcholine and 5-HT and noradrenaline and uh, H3 receptor is also present in the lungs spleen and gastric mucosa the it will decreases the cyclic AMP thereby it will decreases the histamine release further histamine release and in certain blood vessel it will inhibit the noradrenaline release as well as it will produce vasodilation. Now coming to the fourth receptor that is H4 receptor these are highly expressed in bone marrow and white blood cells and they will mediate mast cell hemotaxis. So these are the different receptors of histamines and their distribution and function. Now let us see what are the pharmacological action that we have already mentioned in the mechanism of action as well as the different site of uh, histamine receptor uh, that will be the pharmacological action. In CN, sorry, in CVS cardiovascular system, they will produce H1 mediated response in blood vessel. It will produce contraction of major blood vessels like artery and vein and it will produce dilation in minor blood vessels like capillary and net effect in the blood vessel will be vasodilation due to the H1 mediator response. Now in case of blood pressure, moderate dose will produce hypotension, high dose will produce prolonged hypertension and in heart they will increase the force as well as in frequency of ventricular contraction and they will increase coronary blood flow and in large dose of histamine it will produce ventricular arrhythmia. Now these are the pharmacological action in the cardiovascular system. Now second pharmacological action is allergic reaction that are produced by H1 mediated response like itching. So uh, if we are injecting histamine into the skin it will produce itching due to the stimulation of sensory nerve ending by H1 dependent mechanism. And also if we are injecting this uh, histamine subdermally, it will cause a triple response. So what is mean by triple response? It is also known as triple response of Willis. So upon a subdermal injection of histamine, it will uh, produce three type of responses. First one is a red spot which will occur within seconds and this is due to direct vasodilation which is H1 mediated uh, response. And uh, second response is a V, it will produce within 1 to 2 minutes of uh, after the red spot and the, they will produce a V in the same area as the original spot and here there will be some edema due to increased capillar permeability which is mediated by H1 or receptor. And finally, after the edema, it will produce a flare uh, 1 centimeter beyond the site like this and develop uh, from the axonal reflex, indirect vasodilation and itching through H1 mediated response. So this is the triple response. First, it will produce a red spot, then it will become wheel due to the edema and finally, it will become a flare due to uh, its axonal reflex and it may produce itching. So this is the triple response of Willis. Now third uh, pharmacological action is in the smooth muscles. So um, in moderate dose it will produce contraction of smooth muscle like uh, respiratory system, GI tract and urethral and in high dose it will produce abdominal cramp, colic and increasing intestinal contraction. So these are the uh, pharmacological effect in smooth muscles. Now in endocrine system through H2 mediated response. 
since histamine is a powerful stimulation of gastric acid and pepsin secretion histamine act as an h2 receptor act on h2 receptor and cause activation of cyclic amp and also it will increases the release of calcium ion so by this two action it will activate activate h plus k plus atps pump that is also known as proton pump thereby it will increases the hcl secretion so this uh, response is used uh, uh, this response is blocked during the treatment of peptic culture by using h2 blocker h2 uh, histamine 2 receptor blocking agent like ranitidine as well as um, uh, different type of h2 blockers now coming to uh, another pharmacological effect that is in cns that is through the h3 mediated response histamine usually do not cross the blood brain barrier which is uh, synthesized locally from the study and uh, central physiological role is not clear intra cerebral and intra verbal injection may cause hypothermia and vomiting and in autonomic ganglia as well as in adrenal medulla histamine with at high concentration will stimulate both autonomic ganglia as well as adrenal medulla and causes release of adrenaline so these are the different pharmacological actions of histamines now let's see what are the uh, drugs which are acting on the uh, histamine receptors there are two type of drugs first one is agonist and second one is antagonist so uh, as we mentioned before all the uh, pharmacological effects which are produced by histamine receptor are almost uh, uh, more adverse effects like effects are there so uh, when compared with the agonist and an antagonist agonist with the antagonist antagonists are more therapeutically used because of uh, blocking the pharmacological actions of histamine it will be so some therapeutic value so these are the some histaminergic agonist first one is non selective agonist like uh, it will act on both h1 h2 and h3 receptor and examples are histamine beta histamine and selective h1 agonist like 2 methyl histamine 2 pyridyl ethylamine 2 thioxylol tisolyl ethylamine and selective H2 agonist like dimaprid and imo, impromidin and selective H3 agonist like methyl histamine or emitid. So these are the histaminergic agonist. So as we mentioned before, histamine is a not a histamine is not a drug. This is a uh, pharmacological or inflammatory mediator. But uh, its importance is due to the physiological as well as pathological uh, pathophysiological action. Therefore, drug that inhibit the release or it will block the receptor have more therapeutic value when compared with the histamine agonist as well as histamine. So these are the some uh, uh, histamine uh, more histamine related drugs, mast cell stabilizers, stabilizers like uh, chromoline sodium and nedochromin. So they will uh, proven or they will stabilize the degranulation of mast cell thereby it will prevent the release of histamine from the mast cell and second one is h1 receptor antagonist after the release of histamine the action of histamine can be antagonized by blocking respective histamine receptors so this h1 receptors will block the selective h1 receptor thereby it will produce it will antagonize the, all the action of histamine which are produced through H1 receptors. So there are first generation and second generation of uh, H1 antagonist or antihistamines or conventional antihistamine that we will discuss in next uh, video. And H2 receptor antagonist like ranitidine and cimetidine that we can use uh, for therapeutic value in peptic ulcer. And finally H3 receptor agonist and antagonist is our potentially new drug that are being developed. So that is all about the histamine. Now in another video we will discuss about the antagonist of histamines like H1 antagonist as well as H2 antagonist. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.